Does the Bible teach that the earth is flat? No, no it doesn't. And today, I'm gonna use this drone along with this beach ball to prove to you that the earth is a sphere. And that's actually what scripture says. But everybody always takes Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22 out of context. And I'm gonna show you the proper context. Get ready. So first off, I wanna to read to you the scripture itself. So in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22, it says, God sits above the circle of the earth and the people below seem like grasshoppers to him. He spreads out the heavens like curtains and makes his tent from them. So a lot of people who are trying to say that the Bible teaches flat earth totally take the scripture out of context. They twist it without seeing what's actually there. Let me prove it to you. This is gonna be fun. So, as you can see, I got my trusty beach ball here right beside me. Is that flat? No, but it's a circle and it sure is a sphere, a globe. Oh, well, now we're gonna go to our wonderful drone view. And from our drone, I'm looking straight down on me and I'm gonna go up to my ceiling of 400 feet. And that's at 100 feet right now. I'm still climbing. That's at 250 feet. And I'm coming up to my maximum allowed altitude of 400 feet. And now when you actually look at the picture, the drone is directly above me. And exactly like the scripture says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22. And God sits above the circle of the earth and we look like grasshoppers to him. Well, the interesting thing is, is the reason I took a beach ball is so that you can see the different lines. Because from way up there, guess what? It looks like just a circle. But from down here, you can see that it's a sphere. You see, this scripture has nothing to do with God and the Bible declaring the shape of the earth. What this is designed to do is to show you God's grandeur. Let me prove it even further. If you go back a couple of verses to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15, it says, No, for all the nations of the world are but a drop in the bucket. They are nothing more than dust on the scales. He picks up the whole earth as though it were a grain of sand. Well, if you want to justify the shape of the earth, grain of sand, it's interesting that they didn't choose that scripture. Because the grain of sand, I don't know if you've ever looked at them, but they're sure as heck round, they ain't flat. And at the same time, what is this scripture passage saying? It's trying to help us to understand just how big God is in comparison to us. He picks up the entire earth as if it was a grain of sand. Are you understanding? The earth is not flat. It is a glorious sphere. And God is way bigger than you could ever imagine. So be at rest and learn how to read scripture in proper context. Have a great one.